Thank you for joining us for this week's snapshot. Today, we're going to discuss processing recurring transactions. What is a recurring transaction? It's a transaction or invoice that occurs repeatedly, for example, monthly for rent or insurance. Some general ledger transactions, such as a loan payment and depreciation related transactions, repeat regularly. To automate the entry of recurring transactions, you can create schedules for them in the general ledger module. On today's agenda, we're going to go over AP and AR processing recurring transactions, releasing the AP documents, processing an AR recurring transaction, generating the recurring transaction, and finally releasing the AR documents. Processing an AP recurring transaction. For AP recurring transactions, we're going to go into payables and we're going to create in bills and adjustments. So we're going to create a bill. So you're going to choose your vendor. And today we're going to create a recurring rent payment. So for our vendor reference, we're going to call it Jan Rent. And we'll call this rent for building. And we'll put our amount in here for control amount. And down in the document details, we'll come over here and copy the same description and put that down below. And our extended cost will be the $1,500. And our account is going to be rent, expense. And if you have sub account, fill that in also. So we're going to take this off hold because for, for you to be able to schedule a recurring transaction, it has to have a status of balanced. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now we come over to actions and we're going to add this particular bill to a schedule. Now you can come over here into our schedule and you can you have your start date for when you want your schedule to begin. You can set it to never expire or you can choose an end date. We're gonna leave ours as never expire. We're gonna give it a description and we're gonna call this monthly rent. And you can give it a schedule type. You have daily, weekly, monthly, or you can do it by period if you're going to pay your rent on a quarterly basis. And over here, you can choose if you want to pay it every single month. And we're going to choose on a specific day. You can pick a specific day of the month. We're going to choose the first because rent's always due on the first. Now, down here, it automatically filled in our document list because we linked from our document to so it populated for us. And on the Generated Documents tab, this is where it's going to fill every single month the, the invoice that gets paid on a monthly basis. That'll continue to fill up for all 12 months. So we've got that all filled out. We're going to go ahead and save. And you'll see the next execution for this bill is going to be on the first, which is according to our business date today. We're going to go ahead and say run now. And now that's switched over to last executed. So it's already run for January. Now, if you come back down here to the reference number, that clicking on here, because you can see it's set up as a link, will link us back to our original document. And here you can see our original invoice the status has changed from balanced to scheduled. So what we do now, since we've already done the first month, we can switch to next month because it's set up for next month already. And we can change our reference and change that to Feb rent for February's rent. And we'll change that. And that's balanced, so that's perfect. So that's ready for next month. Release AP documents. 
once the recurring transaction has been set up and scheduled, we go into the recurring transaction area. And you can see this is where we have our transaction. And now everything is scheduled. So we want to go back into payables and we want to go ahead and release our AP document. Here's our document and you can see everything is ready for February. So now we can go ahead and click the check mark and click release. And you can see we've got our green check mark and also one over here. And now once everything's released, everything's good to go for the following rent payment for February. Processing an AR recurring transaction. To process an AR recurring transaction, we're gonna to go to receivables and invoices and memos. This time, we're gonna go ahead and create an invoice. And this time, we're gonna go ahead and schedule an invoice for service contract. And so what we're gonna do is fill in our description. And this is gonna be a monthly service contract for a computer shop. So now we've got the top filled out. We've got our date for the first of the month. And so we'll come down here and fill in our service contract. And every month we're gonna invoice them for $500. And we've got our sales accounting filled in down at the bottom already. And our sub accounts filled out and our amount is $500 for the control amount. And we're gonna take it off hold and our status here is balanced. And we're gonna go ahead and save. Now this time, we can go ahead and click on actions and add to schedule. But this time we're gonna show you a different way of going about generating a recurring transaction scheduled. Generating recurring transaction. So instead of going to invoices and creating our schedule there from the invoice itself, we go to recurring transaction. And here, we're gonna go ahead and click on the plus, and down at the bottom in the document list, we're gonna add our invoice down here, and when you click on the reference number, we're gonna go ahead and click on the magnifying glass and it will automatically pull up our last invoice. And here, just like in the AP, we're gonna go ahead and put in our description. And we're gonna type in our description of service contract. Now this time, we're not gonna say never expires. This one, we're gonna have it expire in a year. So we'll go ahead and change that to January 2020 on the 1st. And we're gonna have the execution limit be 12 times. So we're gonna do that for 12 times for the whole entire year. And this is also gonna be monthly on the 1st. And just like in AP, the generated documents, you're gonna see at the bottom all of the 12 invoices that are gonna be billed will all show up down at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and save that. And you'll see the next execution will be on 1-1. One, one. And here we're not gonna click run now. We're gonna show you how to generate the reoccurring transaction along with, if you have more, multiple. So that's this button right here, generate recurring transactions. Now, if you have many transactions that you have that are recurring, such as if you have rent monthly, if you have service contracts that you schedule monthly, or loan payments that you have monthly, you'll have a lot of those in here. One of the things that you can do is you could actually add a schedule up here to have this whole entire process run automatically. It's just one thing that you can do that Acumatica allows for you to have scheduled. We're not gonna do that, but it is a possibility that if you wanna have that, it's available. We're gonna go ahead and click on the check mark next to our service contract. And we're gonna go ahead and have it run our one transaction for recurring. 
and that's right here. You can see the green check mark, and it's already been run. And it shows our last executed, January 1, and our next executed is going to be February 1. And you can see here, if you click on your invoice, it'll take you to your schedule, just the way that we just set everything up. And you can also dial in to your original invoice that we created. And just like in AP, it changes the status to scheduled. And as long as you keep this particular billing and don't delete it, this will continue throughout the entire year for the continued scheduled allocations for each month. It will continue until the 12 months that you've allotted for. And that's how you generate recurring transactions for the whole batch of them for AR. You can also do the same thing for AP. Release AR documents. And just like in AP, we need to release the AR documents so that the next month can also be scheduled for payment. So here we have our invoice for the services. And we can go ahead and click on the check mark and click release. And you'll notice while that's working here too, you can also click and have these scheduled to happen to where you can release all of your documents. Most of the time, you'll have a big list in here to have a bunch of documents to, that are available for release. And that has been released. And that is how you generate recurring transactions in Acumatica subscribe to this channel or to join our Acumatica LinkedIn user group, refer to the links below. You can also view these snapshots on our website at www.nymphassociates.com or if you have any questions or feedback, we do welcome it. You can contact us at erp at nymphassociates.com or you can call us at 877-454-3200 extension 6346. Thanks for watching. Thank you.